Hello there, Professor Bright here, and we are just about to leave Fallen London. The goal is to get to Mount Palmerston, because there's strategic intelligence there, which the Admiralty will apparently pay 150 echoes for. And we'll get to Mangrove College at some point, you know, help out that tomb colonist. But I kind of have to prioritize the Admiralty because, you know, they're right here, and they're paying me money. So, you know, go for the people who are paying you money rather than just helping some guy. Who I don't think even gave me a reward for getting him all the way to Vendor Bite. Not happy about that. Uh, you know, I wonder if I can get another port report from Hunter's Keep. If it's like every single time you go out, you can get a port report from a place. Let's find out if that's the case. So we're going to go all the way around. You know what, while I'm wondering things, we're going half speed, decrease... I mean, I know it decreases my fuel consumption in half, but it also makes me go slower, so I don't know if that's worth it. If it's like more efficient to just slow down. Alright, I'm docking. At Hunter's Keep. Good luncheon with another of one of the sisters. Um, you know what, why not? Let's, uh... I still don't trust that giggling one. Let's uh, lunch in with Phoebe. Phoebe is soft voice, watchful, unpredictable. Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by water, of a raven that carried messages, of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if to a song only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts out through the skylight of the dining room to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore. The Untersee shimmers below. Islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There is a scent, like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Somewhere in there you finished the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and bath oliver biscuits. I lost terror from that. I'm I'm glad uh glad glad we did. I'm a little worried there. Uh oh wonderful. I apparently have Storm's attention as well. So I believe the other god was Salt, so Salt and Storm. Lovely gods they have here. I'm sure they won't try to kill me. Uh, got some supplies. A memory of distant shores. Which, if memory serves, I could sell at Vendor Bite. And I am further acquainted with the Sisters of Hunter's Keep. Whoa. And, oh yeah, since I have news, let's tempt them out of their lair. Even when the sisters aren't feeling sociable, they can be tempted out of their lair by the smell of new stories. You ask the sulfur-eyed maid to carry a few hints of your news to the sisters. Oddly enough, she comes back with a message that their headaches are cured and you're invited to lunch. Interesting. Green glass and basalt. Salt in silence. You'll find a story when you next make port. Hmm. Interesting. Um, well, the only one we haven't had lunch with is Lucy. Um, let's try it. I'm not sure if the things change. Ooh, lovely. Lucy, the middle sister, is sunly, yeah, sunny, restless, prone to giggles. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidentially. A complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding, the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. Gain some more supplies. Stuck at one memory of distant shores. And I now have Stone's attention. And that's all for now. Lost some terror. You are acquainted with the sisters, but something has changed. Hmm. Let's reconnoiter the island for a report. 
Okay, so I can get reports each time I go out. To get that little bit of fuel and the echo. Or however many echoes they pay me. And we're going northeast. Should still be going northeast of Fallen London. Check the map. Yep. Dust and echoes. Even a sepia tint to the air. These are the waters around the tomb calling. Oh, hello! A bat! Let's go full reverse. And fire on the bats. Nope. Didn't I just upgrade my cannons? Let me go back up here. And of course I'm going to gather up the corpses. I love having supplies. And the all clear. I'm going to put you guys back. And I'm going to check something. Um, pause. Go to the Gazette. I don't know. Um, that's the same old gun. I s oh, I didn't spend those 200 echoes. I could have sworn I did. Hmm. Apparently made fa made friends among the beast slayers of the Chelinate. That's interesting. Uh, let's unpause. And I see a ship up there. Again, the most violent scientist of them all. I must shoot you down for science. Oh, you're a frigate. Intriguing. From the Stone Soul Islands, you say. Or Stone Soul Isles. Doesn't matter, because I'm still going to be shooting at you. And just riding right behind you, too. <laughs> this is the best tactic. Huh. I mean, it's useless against those little beasties, because they will just rush you. But against regular ships, these, uh... Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Nope. Oh, shit, I am down to 32 hull. Oh, my God. I did not realize. Um... Well, I have to finish him. That's... That's just... How it's gonna be, because otherwise, I'm gonna try to... Yeah. They got clever. They got clever, and I'm not okay with it. Um... I like how I was just saying, oh yeah, I can just ride behind him as much as I want. Now they got, uh... You know what they're doing now. Got fuel, got supplies, another cash. With a bale of para parabola linen. Parabola is the serpent place behind mirrors. Or someone made that up. But in that case, where do they weave this sleek and embery glistening cloth? Embery glis bleh, glimmering cloth. Interesting. Yeah, I did not realize how badly I was doing. Let's unpause there. How badly I was doing in terms of hull. And I have to. I have to keep an eye on that. Oh, and I lost a crew member. Oh. I almost feel bad about that. I should have known better though. Ooh, something in the upper right corner there. It's a box. square shape. It's a statue! A enormous statue. The Salt Lions. Uh-huh. That is a huge, huge thing. Let's go to Zealport, then. I mean, why not? Um... Two basalt beasts. Cathedral size. Uh -huh. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. The north one carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away at its features like rot. Pick, pick, picking. There's a supply dock below. We visit the unmakers. There's the... Let's see here. Ooh, hello. Oh my. The Unmakers are here to reduce the salt lions to rubble one block at a time. Help them in their work. Help them in their work by carrying the rubble back to London. Do I have twenty units of cargo left? I don't think I do. No, I don't nearly. Um plus two hundred echo deposit. Oof. We could do salts rights. 
Hmm. The face of the northern sphinx is all but gone. Lost faces are sacred to salt, they say. You are drawn here. To what end? Salt's voice is distant, but clear. Report, report. Well, I'm obviously going to do that. Time, the salt, dissolution. Record the activities of the unmakers, such as they are. Rite of stone and silence. Well, let's... Hmm. We'll visit them. Gain a fragment. Grew some hair. Muscular pick wielders rest on camp stools, watching you approach, passing hip flasks around. An unctuous overseer beckons you to sit. Fungal to say in tea cakes. We get funding from the bazaar, it's true, but station four? Let me think of my Roman numeral numerals rather. Station IV Yeah, station four. I wouldn't call a station four. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary, or occult ballast. Most of them. Some go down to the places under the bazaar. More tea cakes? Hmm. I'm intrigued. And only option there is to carry it to London. So, that's not happening. No shops. And I assume no shipyard. No, of course not. Alright, let's launch. Let's look at our map, actually. Yeah, we've got the salt lions. How far northeast could this little port be? Hmm. Oh, hello. There's an island in the lower right corner. Might be something. Yeah, we entered a fog bank. We en Creeping tendrils of fungus, seaweed, unnameable flora. We enter the snares. Found the labyrinth of eels. Oh, bound shark. Oh, sh Hmm. Nope. Not going near that. I like that little maze thing. That's kind of neat. But no, I'm not going near that shark. On the surface, the sun still warms the earth, or so one assumes. And we're not getting involved with that shark. Mm -mm. Not doing it. And the crew. There's another island here. Come on, I want one of you to be Mount Palmer Stone so I can get back to London. I need to repair this ship for... Crab cake? Huh. Ah, oh, I could go for some crab cakes, why not? I think if it gets down to 10 fuel, we head back regardless, because... Lord knows I, know I need the fuel. Um... I know to the northeast or the northwest. Uh, there's a shark. Oh! Nope! It looks slightly tough. Um. Let me turn out the lights. Yeah, you can't see me now. Can't see a thing. Not a thing. Uh, I can. I know I can press F to go a little faster, and that thing's following me, so I think we do just that. Oh, hello. Did, did I just discover something? Oh, the Abbey Rock. Okay. Well, let's check this place out. Here the Grim Sisters lair. A black spit of an island, far from anywhere anyone would want to go. And that's how the Sisterhood likes it. Here stands their fortress convent. There are bear traps that look friendlier than this. You trade supplies. 20 echoes for one supply, I'll do that, sure, why not? Okay. 
Okay. Of course we'll compile a port report. It's unlikely to be eventful. Nothing is happening. The sisters watch us. We feel their eyes. The sea crashes on the rocks, withdraws. And the fortress stands stolid as the last year of a century. The greatest peril you risk here is a certain purpleness of prose. Hmm. Very nice. Could watch it. There's no way I am the first to come here. Hmm. Oh, hello, fuel. Hello, things. You follow tracks into a sea cave. Someone has stored food, supplies, ammunition. It can't be the nuns. These crates have a carnate look. The Admiralty won't want to know about this. Yes. Perfect. And we gained fuel, got supplies. We are headed home. 